What's up guys, you're here with Josh Bailey. Today, I'm going to get some treatment because I've been dealing with a common injury called tennis elbow. For the past six weeks, I can't lift how, how I usually lift and it's time to change that. All right, let's go get some treatment. Is tricep tendonitis at the insertion where your elbow is and also uh, a little bit of what we call tennis elbow. All that means mm -hmm. is irritation of the ligaments and tendons that attach to the outside of your elbow. Okay, really common injury, especially with people that weight lift a lot, can be either with pulling or pushing activities. Oh, yeah. Also very common with people that play tennis and now like pickleball or paddle, because they're not used to that repetitive movement, or they're loading too much through their elbow joint at a very fast pace, which can, um, if you're loading it too fast, it can really cause irritation of those tendons. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Yes. So how you treat it is through getting blood flow through those ligaments and tendons and muscles around the elbow and the shoulder joint to loosen those up, and then you want to strengthen it. So doing a lot of wrist eccentric motions, pronation and supination movements, and also addressing the strength of your shoulder. So then when you go to do push and pull type of movements or play tennis and movements like that, you're not loading so much through your elbow. For work, you need to work on your frontal plane, sagittal plane, and internal rotation more to help stabilize your shoulder, because that's going to help your elbow join out, especially when you're doing heavy lifts. Um, Does that matter with like different Your grip, grips? you're going to feel better with a neutral, neutral grip. Yeah. That's going to feel better on your elbow for right now. Gotcha. That is true. I do notice that. Feeling okay? Yeah, that hurts. Was it scraping? No. So this is a technique called ASTEM. So have you ever heard the, the term myofascial? Yeah. Or fascia? Yeah. Okay, so fascia, I like to explain to my patients, it's like the saran wrap of your muscles. Okay? So it needs to be able to contract and expand so your muscles are able to do that as well. So when it gets really tight, like a dried ball of spaghetti, it can cause a lot of pain and dysfunction in an area, so you really need to release that. So what I'm doing is I'm working the whole kinetic chain to release that whole fascial system, starting mm -hmm. from your wrist, and then I'm gonna get into your shoulder. See, so I'm interested in, <laughs> I like, I really like like the anatomy and muscle, I like to learn. Yeah. Cause I mean, as trainers we learn, but you guys go a little bit deeper when it comes to PT. Yeah. So. So you might've heard of like Graston or the metal tools, which are fine, but they're mainly used for spot treating. So it's like, hey, I have some pain in my elbow. I'm just gonna like spot treat that there. Mm -hmm. So I started using this technique. I had to use it on myself when I was marathon training about two years ago. And I just really felt a difference in how my body was feeling along with like me doing my corrective exercises and things like that. On the legs? Huh, on my legs, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I started using it like my whole body um, and it really, made a difference in just how my body felt with my strength training and my training overall. So. But you do this by yourself? I can do it to myself. Yeah. You find a way when you're a PT. <laughs> <laughs> Would a gun work? Is that a good... A gun is fine. So what it does, it just provides blood flow and it right. wakes up the like vibrational cells. That's why it works good for like warm-ups or... Recovery. Yeah, it's really good for warm-ups. Yeah. But it doesn't really do much to change like the tissue. That's why you got to get like using the tools or people's hands and mm -hmm. or active release technique because you got to be able to mobilize the tissue. Good thing I got my nails done yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Were they just regular before? <laughs> no, I just got them done. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that hurts. <laughs> Ooh. Are you getting his face? <laughs> that hurts. Needed some love. Only the inside hurts. Always inside of everything hurts. You feel okay? Yeah, this feels fine. Not too bad. All right, now, now, we're gonna get, now we're going to get in your, your elbow. Does that hurt? I mean, I'm not scared of needles, but... I'm not going to do it just yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do that same thing on your, on your elbow. You're going to go face down and face cradle. I can take a needle, but not pricks. Even though prick is fast. <laughs> just going to work on your tricep. Is training your main, like, bread and butter? Uh, that and food. I don't know which one I like more. I'm more experienced in training, but I went to school for like cooking, for culinary. Oh, wow, that's dope. What type of cuisine would you cook if you could cook? Any type. Um, like if you could be a chef and own your own restaurant, what would you cook? Hmm, that's very hard. Am I trying to sell or what am I trying to do? Just, just You to, know, you like if you, money wasn't an object, what would you do? If money wasn't an object, I see a lot of people at burger places. <laughs> but would you like to cook burgers though? No, That's I your wouldn't. passion? I wouldn't, but I see a lot of people go to burger places. Okay, what's your passion? Mine's just healthy food. I mean, it's very hard to choose. I love to cook, so if I was to be a chef, it would definitely be Mediterranean. 
Yeah. Or Latin. But that's that's very European, you know. Is that very European of me? Yeah, you. That's I feel like that's where I picked it up. Middle East and European, they eat a lot of Mediterranean food. You doing okay? Yeah. Where does it feel the most sticky to you? Sticky. Like, ir like irritable. The top. Right here or down below? Definitely the top. Definitely up here. Yeah. And that's where you get most of your discomfort when you're working out. I feel like it's right in the middle. Right in here. I feel like like dead center of my elbow when I. Right in there. Mmm. Yes. Right okay. there. Uh, yeah, that hurts. It's your tricep insertion. So your tricep goes from here and attaches here to your elbow joint. Yeah. Worked out with a guy. And, I and, mean, and he made me overextend like my overhead extension. Uh huh. And I don't usually do that. On your back or standing up? Where, where were you? Sitting at? down, seated. Oh. But I went all the way down and I was like, I never do that. That makes sense. And that's what happened. It's the same guy who told me he had the same thing. Well, that wasn't very nice of him. I hope he don't watch this, but I'm blaming, I'm blaming <laughs> him. <laughs> I'm blaming him. All right, needles are gonna stay in for 10 minutes. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna do a few of them. So they're gonna sit in. So I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna get through your tricep. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna put it all over my back of my arm? Yes. There's not that many, but I'm gonna do a couple. <laughs> Make sure you get them crying on video. <laughs> 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 just, just me. In case people don't know, what is dry needling for? So dry needling is used for any musculoskeletal, so muscle, tendon, or ligament injury. Uh, you're going directly to the source of pain and dysfunction. So if you've ever heard of a trigger point, which is a taut band of muscle, mm -hmm. you're going directly to that trigger point. You're sticking the needle into that trigger point. You're going to elicit like a twitch response from that muscle, mm -hmm. okay? And that helps the muscle relax and reset. Yeah. During that time, it also elicits your body to bring blood flow and healing cells to that area. So especially people that have been dealing with an injury for a long period of time, that inflammation sits there. Mm. For it to heal properly, you need to get a new cycle of blood flow and healing cells. So dry needling is great for eliciting that acute uh, response that our body naturally brings. It also improves brain muscle firing as well. So wow. example, um, I have a lot of low back patients where their glutes will shut down due to low back dysfunction. Dry mm. needling through those glutes can help wake up the muscle and help it function better. Wow. Yeah. So that's how it's different from acupuncture. Because Acupuncture, you're just treating the energy chart and the energy flow. But it's a dry sterile needle. You're not injecting anything. This is, this is not injection, right? No, not injecting anything into your body. Neither one is an injection. No, neither oh. one's an injection. Okay. Yeah. Dry sterile needle. Uh oh. That was a great <laughs> That was a great definition. If you guys need that. <laughs> you know Thank where to you. come get some uh, dry needling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Don't do this at home either. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it to yourself. Well, I do it to myself, but shouldn't do it to yourself. Normal for your muscle or your joint after we needle, still feel achy like you worked that muscle group out for a while, for 24 oh, yeah. to 72 hours. That doesn't mean that you can't do anything. You actually wanna be active to keep the blood flow going, okay? The reason why it's achy is because you're getting a, a rush of blood flow to that area. So being achy is actually a positive response. I have chest today. Huh? I have chest. Okay. Can I do, can I still do chest? Uh, can you switch it up today or no? Uh, I gotta do legs then and I got my hamstring. Just falling apart. Yeah, getting old. All right, ready? Mm hmm. All right, you good? Mm hmm. That wasn't bad. You're getting old. Does it pull blood out? Sometimes you get a little bleeder like that one. No, is it, uh, it barely, uh, does it barely pull, feel does it. Does it pull it out? Yeah, no. No. Lifting through every, everything, they do warm up. Oh, whoa. What was that? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I don't think it was a needle, it was just whatever you touched. Yeah, was it pretty spicy? That was a bone or a ligament, I don't know what that was. It's a ligament. Are you like making it tight? Am I what? What is that? That's your muscle twitching, that's a trigger point. 
Oh, yeah. That's what hurts. Ow. It's not the actual needle. Yeah, that's your muscle. Oh. Trigger. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. You're not screwing it or something? Did I screw it? Yeah. I twisted a little bit. You twist it, okay. That's what it is. Uh. You're gonna feel a little pulse, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn these two on first. I just want you to tell me when you feel it, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Something's moving. Okay, is that comfortable? Just light? Uh, it's light. It's like, uh... It's like... Yeah. Yeah, but it's not too much? No. Okay. Is it still there? Yep. Okay. All right, I'm going to turn these two on. Okay. Mm. Okay, you okay? It's only like one spot that's doing it. No, there's both. Mm. Is that too much? I want like a f three, four out of ten. You could sit here for ten minutes. I can't feel it, so. You can't feel it? I can see it, but I can't feel it, so you're gonna have to tell it, me. Is that normal? Yeah, that's what I want. But I want it to be at the intensity where it's comfortable, three, four out of ten, and you can lay here for ten minutes. Uh, I can, I think okay. so. Alright. Uh, one of them, one of them hurt. That's a, that's a positive. Mm. Is that better there? It's okay. Yeah? Okay. Let's go back in 10 minutes. You it has a watch. timer. <laughs> <laughs> it has a timer. You want to watch me twitch. Oh. Feels good. I haven't done this since, uh, since playing football. Yeah? I was always in the training room. I remember stem on my legs. So try and keep it still if you can, because the more you oh. move, it'll get more intense. All right. I mean, you can move your head if you want, but if I need to adjust it, let me know, because your body gets accommodated to it. Still. Is it still okay? Mm. Yeah. I'm broken up, bro. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That one. That one? Oh, it's sore already. It's a good thing. Oh. Plus you've been dealing with it for a while, so. Huh? Plus you've been dealing with it for a while. But yes, you're good. The tricep is sore. Not all healing is. I don't think our standard one will fit Josh here. What is that? I'm just gonna load your tendon real quick. Do a little loading. That's how they do with the doctor when I go get the blood pressure check. <laughs> <laughs> this one's not as intense, no. Well, I'm just saying the nurse is always, oh, we're not going to use the normal one. Go get it. Go get the big one. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah, that. Oh, wow. That's why I said you probably don't want to do arms today. We'll be doing tricep extensions today. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay to feel like that way for 24 to 72 hours, but then it gets better, mm -hmm. okay? Because remember, we're getting a blood flow response. All right, let me get some grubs and stuff. That one fits. We're just gonna load your tendon, doing some blood flow restriction training. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna occlude the blood pressure a little bit, but allow us to load the tendon with more weight than I would like to. Okay. So it allows me to load the tendon with a little bit more weight without stressing it so much. Do 30 reps, rest, and then three sets of 15. So 30 reps, and then three sets of 15 mm -hmm. with a 30 second rest break in between. Mm -hmm. Deal? Yeah. Got it? <laughs> with the five. Yeah. Okay. 
this and before. Then slowly, yep, but rest it here. So good. Up. So I'm loading where I just needled you. Does that feel okay? Mm-hmm. How's the weight? Ten. I'm at ten. <laughs> I feel it now. It's a five, man. Come on. Huh? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Spicy. Ah. Come on, muscle man. I don't do forearm exercises. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do forearms. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to doing forearms. Whoa. You want me to lower the weight? Mm, no. Sure? Like a challenge. His excuse is, I don't work out forearms. <laughs> With all those muscles, you don't work out forearms. Farmers care, that's about it. Ah. So the closer you hold it here, the easier it will be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is like a drum line was out. <laughs> a drum line I used to make you hold it. <laughs> okay. So you're doing. Oh okay. my gosh. And the other way too? No, just to neutral. We're gonna yeah. do it in a second. Yeah. Okay, go up. Oh yeah, this is easy. Okay, go then farther down the pole. Okay. Okay. Doesn't feel coming back. Okay, so you're gonna do just ten, then we're gonna add in the other one. It's hard on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I can do this at home. You can do it with a regular dumbbell. Dumbbell? You can do it with a regular dumbbell. Yeah. But the weight isn't offset like this one. No, it's not. Yeah, they might have them at your gym though. You're gonna go. This one's gonna be hard. Okay, so if you need to, slide your hand up. Yeah, Phil. That one already. Yeah. Okay, so slide your hand up just a smidge. Oh no, we're gonna take it down. Okay. That's gonna, gonna be harder. You're gonna be strong today. Okay. All the way up. What do you mean all the way up? So, palm down. Okay, right there. Okay. Yeah. Now rotate it, rotate it, rotate it, rotate it all the way to your palm up. Ooh. Paw, no, not past there. Okay. Not past there. Palm okay. up. Okay. Palm down. Okay. Mm. Keep going. Oh, this one is good. Good. You okay. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. This reminds you like it reminds me of Game of Thrones every time <laughs> I have a patient do this. Ah. Uh, he asked if you were a bodybuilder. I was like, no, I don't think he's a bodybuilder. He's just athletic. The athletic, I think, is more slim build. Oh. As far as uh, I know, you said what I need to work on. So. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we said. Frontal plane. Yeah, we did frontal. Yeah. And so you need to work a little bit more on scaption plane when you're in the gym. Scaption plane. Yeah, so those are like either standing or on your stomach doing like V's, like Y's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's those like are, I do those. I do those a lot, actually. But are you really making sure that you're not using your upper trap? Yeah. And make sure that you're using your shoulder joint because that's a very common mistake with a lot of people. Well, I try they'll, to use that because I want to grow my delts more. So. <laughs> they'll rep out their upper trap uh, versus actually using the right proper muscles yeah. for those. But scaption is a great um, exercise. If you do it face down, it's going to be more challenging than if you're standing. 
oh yeah, that's hard. I just did these. I did a yeah, video. Yeah, so if you're recently. doing like on the decline bench or the Swiss ball, yeah, those are great to do. But rotator cuff muscle. I actually did it for my trap though. Uh, that was no. for my trap. You need to. Now you do yeah, it for. You got to focus on mid and lower trap and rhomboids when you do those. Yeah, okay. I think when I go overhead though, it contracts more rhomboid. Yeah. Trap. But, but when you're face down. When I'm face down, that's what it means. Yeah. Me. So you have to really focus on it. And with rotator cuff muscles, it's an endurance muscle. So you really have to rep that out. So it's like okay. four to five sets of 10 to 12 reps. Mm. It's not just a two to three set, okay. 10 exercises okay. that you need to do. Okay. Okay. And then you need to work a little bit more on your internal rotation. Okay. I don't do that. Resistant of those. Serratus, I never do that. you know what the serratus anterior yeah. muscle is? That is a, a very key component there. So you can do exercises up the wall with like the band. Those are great to do for serratus. Oh, wow. Yeah. My back on the wall? No, nope. you'd be here. Oh, for straight. With like a band, yep. Okay. Straight up and down, really pushing out into the band. But yeah, very common injury. Um, but today we just did a lot of tissue work, dry needling through your elbow to help get the blood flow and the healing. And then we loaded the tendon with blood flow restriction um, to um, get some more healing through that joint. So what would be my homework for next time? So your homework, you're gonna do the wrist eccentrics that we did, okay? And the one that we just did, pronation. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna work on your shoulder like we just talked about. Okay. Deal. No ice directly to your elbow, your tricep, or Advil for 24 hours, because I dry needled you. Because I want to get a blood flow no response. No Advil. Yeah, because I want to get a blood flow response. That means like no you. medication? You can, take your, all your, <laughs> you can take all your supplements and stuff. No, 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 like medication. Like as far as an anti-inflammatory? Yeah, like no ibuprofen or yeah, nothing? Yeah, just no ibuprofen, like an anti-inflammatory. If okay. you can, I tell my patients for 24 hours, just because you're creating a blood flow effect through the dry needling, mm -hmm. and I don't want to shut that off. Got you. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Well, uh, I'm Typical already sore. Typical to be sore, but, though. Well, thank you. That was good. Yeah, you're welcome. Ooh.